Welcome to Trucks and Other Stuff, where we have fun, fun with trucks, sometimes with cars, and all, always with tools. Today we're going to be putting together something I just recently purchased. It's right behind me. You probably can't completely see it, but I'll show you what it is in a second. Um, but before we do, I want to remind you of what is in the dis description. So in the description is a few things that I've done to my truck. Uh, go ahead and take a, take a look. Click on those. Uh, there are links to uh, the leveling kit and to the uh, Add Leaf Springs. And also, I have a link to the toolkit that I reviewed not too long ago. So, definitely look at those things. And also, stay tuned because, for sure, this next week we're going to be working on the truck. I've said a few times now that we're going to be putting wheel bearings and ball joints on the truck. Uh, and I con continue to forget, or not forget, but to not do it. Because of different things that have come up. Uh, this time, I didn't have the correct tool. That is ordered and should be here Monday, and uh, I should be able to do the project then. So look forward to that. Um, that's going to be a fun project um, to look forward to. So let's get to the video. All right, so this is what I got. This is a, a Husky 27-inch five-drawer toolbox. Um, I purchased this about a week ago uh, from Home Depot. I believe that's the only place Husky is sold. And... Uh, I bought it specifically because I have a toolbox that will fit on top of this, so then I'll have a full chest, and I'm looking forward to that because I need more space, and I got to get to get rid of boxes, which are holding tools, and now I have a toolbox. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. iron except for cardboard. Pretty cool. I'm sure it keeps it perfectly safe all the time. Okay, so Spanish, English. Instruction, use and care guide. That'll be important. All right, what else we got? Lots of plastic. Let's do this. Let's see if I can lift it out. Yeah. Let us. All right, I should have just skipped a section there because um, I didn't really have a clear shot for you. So this is the toolbox. Um, obviously, it's still not assembled completely um, because I don't have the wheels on. But it's looking pretty good. Um, 8,586 cubic inches of uh, storage capacity. I liked that the drawers were rated for for 100 pounds. This toolbox is rated for 1,000 pounds on the casters. So that's nice. All right, now I am trying to open with one hand the, um, the keys. Whoop! Because I want to get in it. Okay, unlocked. Well, that's pretty nice. No inserts, just metal. That's okay. It appears it has a bit of the closes quick. Pretty nice. Yeah. Bigger drawer. And the largest drawer on the bottom. And that looks to be our handles and the casters. So, let's go ahead and grab the knife, open up this package. Yep, there are the casters. They seem decently heavy duty. Pretty nice. 
use one of the, um, the steering casters. See the ball bearings in there. Should be pretty heavy duty. Yeah. And then of course the handle. You can see that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to assembling this and then show you at the end. Here she is, all assembled, the wheels are on. It looks good, it's actually taller than I was expecting. This is gonna fit a lot of good stuff in there. Like I said, it's a thousand pound capacity. It has five drawers that hold 100 pounds each. That's pretty good. fit nicely with my other toolbox. Um, my other toolbox will fit right here on the top. I'll sit right there and I'll have a full full cupboard of drawers. It's going to be really nice. So, um, What is my overall impression? My impression of this is very good. Um, for what I paid for it, it seems to be very good quality. Um, I'm excited about the thousand pound max capacity. That's going to be really nice. Um, when I assembled this, things seem to be pretty solid. Um, these aren't tightened down yet. The, the, the um, casters are. Uh, everything seemed to be pretty heavy duty. Um, actual bolts. Not grade 8 or anything like that, but they're pretty nice. Um, I like the finish. I don't even know how to describe what this finish is like. It's like a textured feel. Um, but I don't know exactly what it, it would be called. Seems pretty rugged. Um, I guess I would have liked to have seen liners for the drawers. That would have been nice, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, came with two keys, all the hardware we needed, uh, no extras. I don't know if that's standard or not, but I would have liked to see extras, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. We have nice 
master clean up later. But overall, I'm really pleased with this. Uh, it's going to serve my purpose as well and uh, make organizing our trailer much easier. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, this this uh, box is about $160 at Home Depot. So if you want to pick it up for yourself, feel free to do so. This is not a sponsored ad. This is just me um, videotaping the things that, that are going on. So thanks for watching. I hope you'd uh, uh, like and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget about the 1,000 subscriber challenge. And also comment if you have any, um, any experience with these particular boxes. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.